What's happening, my friends? Today, I'm having a little playthrough on one of my 90s Stratocasters that's loaded up with the DiMarzio Cruiser in the neck position. And when we talk about the Cruiser, we cannot have a conversation about this pickup without mentioning the glorious uh, Andy Timmons. You know, he's really taken this pickup and kind of made it his own. It's practically his signature. It's uh, the first time I heard it, and I think he just does some beautiful things with it. Nevertheless, um, I should tell you that I'm using it the same way he does in this guitar, in that he actually uses the bridge cruiser in the neck position to perhaps get a little bit more of that chimey, Stratocaster-like top end. Um, also, I'm using this with 500K pots. Uh, being that it's sort of a stacked humbucker, uh, I want to have that top end similar to a single coil, and I think I have arrived at that. And this pickup is really fun to play. I particularly like the percussive nature of it, and uh, it has a really nice fat bottom end, and everything is kind of where you want it. Um, so here's a little uh, uh, taste of the cleanish. It's not totally clean, it's not pristine, but it's a, a crunch channel that's got the gain way down, so pretty clean. Really nice balanced sound. Does it sound like a Stratocaster to you? Does it sound like a traditional single coil? I think it's pretty close. And I think uh, DeMarzia's website even says, we think it's about 90 some odd percent uh, as close to a single coil as possible. And I tend to agree with that statement. It's very close. <laughs> So check this out. Now I'm on the same amp model, which is a fast crunch, which is Fractal Audio's version of a kind of a plexi. And all I've done here is just turned up the input gain so it's not any different with the EQ, but check out how much bigger it becomes. <laughs> Love that sound. Again, the uh, attack is there. The high end is right where you kind of expect it to be from a, a single coil, but no buzz, no hum, no 60 cycle hum, which is awesome. Um, as I'm playing this, listen to how much clarity, even when I'm smashing some chords. <laughs> Love that you can hear every note in this particular pickup. Really a lot of clarity and definition, which I love. So now I've got the gain almost maxed out on this little amp model and listen to what happens here. still somehow maintains that clarity, still is cutting through. It's not getting harsh, really. Uh, I'm impressed. So the one thing I was wondering when I got this pickup is how close is it going to sound to an actual single coil? How uh, actually noisy is it gonna be uh, trading out for an actual single coil? I can say that it's a lot better than that normal 60 cycle hum you get, but if I were to show you uh, without my noise gate, you might be surprised at how noisy it is still. So listen to this. Here's with the noise gate wide open. Here's with the noise gate completely off. Kind of tilting a little bit away and towards my computer monitor. So you can hear that there's some interference there. It's not like when I switch to position one with the humbucker, you know, I still get a little bit of something there, but noticeably louder when I'm on this neck pickup. Check out how it sounds playing a little bit lower now. Okay, 
Okay, so we're starting to get an idea of what this sounds like, high and low and everywhere in between. And the next step, I wanna kinda get into some things that I don't love about the pickup. Uh, just, you know, my personal taste, but here it is for what it's worth. The pickup has almost a little bit of a, like kind of a plasticky sound at times. Um, depending on the range that you're in, that plasticky um, is part of the percussive nature, which is a good thing, but I've noticed that certain settings and certain positions that it can sound a little strange. And to me, kind of like a sterile, generic, uh, a little bit, dare I say, wannabe single coil, but not convincing in, in some lines. But that's, again, just my nitpicky opinion. Where I hear it is kind of on the cleaner sounds up in this range right around the 12th fret. Since I just played that with the volume halfway down, I should mention this does not play very well uh, as you turn the volume down if you don't have a high pass filter or in other words, a treble bleed on your input. Listen to how dark it gets, even if I just turn down to about seven. not a bad sound, it's just not what I would expect uh, when I'm playing the neck position on a Stratocaster guitar. Uh, but again, that could be remedied by having a treble bleed. All right, let's see how the Cruiser holds up against an actual single coil. So I've got the Cruiser here in this red guitar. I'm gonna play my white Stratocaster that's loaded up with the Fender Custom Shop Texas Specials, and we can see how the Cruiser holds up. So what are you thinking so far? Let me know in the comment section below, which one are you liking? Are you more of a cruiser or are you a die hard traditional single coil fan through and through and nothing else even compares? For me, I like them both. Uh, man, do I wish I could combine the characteristics of both because they both have some really cool things going on. 
I'm a huge fan of the Texas Special mid-range. There's just a mid-range magic, um, and perhaps it needs to be fielded and played to really be understood, but hopefully you can hear that coming across in the clips. Um, I love the percussive nature of that cruiser pickup. I kind of miss some of that at certain times playing on the Strat with the traditional single coils. Um, the bottom end is real nice. There's, oh God, there's, it's hard to decide. They're both so good, um, but you know, maybe like a toolbox and, and a bag full of tools, there's one for every job. So don't have to choose, I guess. How about the noise factor? Did you notice a difference in the clips? Could you hear that this guitar was noticeably louder in terms of noise? Uh, how about the output of both guitars? Roughly the same. YouTube's probably gonna compress it to the point where you can't tell too much of a difference, but I would say that these pickups are actually louder than the Cruiser, which is surprising given that the Cruiser's a stacked humbucker design. Um, here is me playing the Strat, or let me just turn the volume knob up and you can hear the amount of noise. Well, it's, I've heard worse, but it is very apparent. Um, so there's that. And if I was playing much louder, of course, this buzz would be getting much louder too. So it is a battle if you're doing the uh, traditional single coil thing. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is having a guitar that is noiseless and having a guitar that is true traditional single coils like this one. That way I can kind of pick and choose uh, if I ever play a gig in front of live people again because of freaking COVID, I would, ah. Anyway, I hope this is giving you a better idea of what you want in your guitar, the cruiser or the traditional single coils. A um, little more playing, we'll see what you think. Sounds pretty nice to my ear. The one question in my mind is gonna be, how do these compare to the pickups I played a few weeks back, which were the Fender Hot Noiseless pickups? I really like those, those surprised me. And uh, while I do love the characteristics of this pickup, I'm not sure it's for me, but you know, God, we get the gas so bad, that gear acquisition syndrome. Uh, the grass is always greener. It is hard to know what's gonna stick sometimes, but I'm having fun playing this. I hope you've enjoyed listening to it. If you did, let me know in the comments, hit that subscribe button. I'm like just a few away from 500, man. It would be so great to reach that pinnacle. Uh, so exciting. Love being here, love playing for y'all, love to hear what's on your mind. If I missed anything in this video, you certainly let me know. And if there's something you'd like to see in the future, let me know in the comments. See you next time.